I guess the consensus amongst the risk test communities are already fairly high. Um, so, I guess this is a question for the S side. Uh, the notes that I mentioned, there's a lot more costs associated with the size, the $2 per student. So, travel, conference fees, accommodations, those are all extra costs that the census would have to, publish it, to cover. And in order to be sustainable, we have to find a way to do that. And that will probably be through increasing the student fees. So, I guess, is there really justification to increase student fees for travel, for accommodation to conferences out west, um, in the East Coast, and in Ontario uh, for this lobbying organization? Uh, I'd have to say, with regards to the cost, that uh, the benefits, uh, again, greatly outweigh the cost. Uh, the things that we can learn at these uh, conferences from schools na nationwide are absolutely um, invaluable. Uh, as far as the, the uh, CASA did mention at, uh, or when they met with council on Wednesday that they do have uh, money to subsidize. However, it's not a structural thing. You're not allowed. You're not supposed to use it as a as a recurring like recurrent user is what they use. Um, however, if we were unable to pay for it, that money is available. Um, also, I, I did mention two dollars, which is, uh, I guess, is the cost of joining CASA. Uh, if there were the conferences that uh, do exist that uh, the VP external would have to attend, uh, could perhaps necessitate, uh, at worst, uh, I don't know, a four dollar fee, which still isn't that very, isn't very much. Uh, but I, I, it's not my, it's not my job to defend to uh, decide the policy of the SAC as the uh, yes campaign in the referendum. It would be up to next year's council to decide, um, which is ultimately again up to them. Alrighty. Um, so in answer to your question, um, like, yeah, I I absolutely don't support um, an increase in uh, in in fees to to pay for for CASA um, simply because. Like the benefits just aren't there. We don't need to pay for, for what we're already getting, right? Um, in terms of subsidization, um, yeah, they do they do subsidize um, visits to conferences if you can't pay. Um, but um, like we we don't need to be we don't need to be at the fore of uh, of setting their lobby agenda because it's it's for the most part really universal. Um, like most Canadians with student loans do, but do benefit from a king contingent um, tuition. Like that's that's a good thing. We just we just don't need to we just don't need to uh, to reevaluate our priorities. Um, and say the the CASA is, is the first one. We can be using the money for so much else here at Mafe. Response. Um, I'd like to respond to a couple points that uh, my colleague has mentioned. The first being uh, that we're already benefiting from the uh, initiatives of CASA. One, that, one thing I would have to say to that is philosophers mentioned before. You can decide what's moral by thinking about what would happen if everyone did it. If everyone thought the way that my colleague is um, thinking, CASA wouldn't exist. We wouldn't get these benefits to begin with. Also, I'd like to make a correction to something you said. Uh, we have benefited from some of the things CASA has done in the past. It doesn't mean we always will. And without a seat on CASA, we can't ensure that we always will. All right. Um, I guess uh, I guess an answer to that. Um, this this campaign is is very much um, is is very much uh, being being fought between um, the yes side, which is you know, yes, we should we should join CASA immediately, and the no side, which is. Um, because of the because of the question, um, the the referendum question isn't. It's not. No, we should never join Casa. It's we shouldn't join Casa right now. Like this leaves the door open for a ton of more research. Um, I realize that uh, that Alex McDonald has already um, spent a considerable amount of time looking into this. Um, but uh, the, this this isn't a permanent thing. Um, the other thing that I would like to bring up is that um, there are lots of universities in Canada who aren't part of either the CFS or CASA, and they're getting along fine. And I need to catch up. Yeah. Um, so just for a, like the preliminary digging that I did and talking to people, um, I was told that just specifically for us to attend, um, the, or for us, for the SAC to attend the observers, uh, or sorry, as an observer to the Halifax conference, that recently took place, that it was upwards, you know, if it hadn't been subsidized and other considerations, it would have been upwards of $1,000. Um, we sent 
you know, there's a conference fee associated with everything. We sent one person to this. This was Halifax, okay? A thousand dollars. So, um, from what I understand, there's two representatives from every um, student association specifically cast on it. Um, I'm thinking, you know, best case scenario, like if you're flying to the West Coast, which there's a conference over here, two people plus all of the additional expenses, it's going to rack up very considerably quickly. Um, you, you said, Stephen, that you think it's, you know, maybe $2 more, but $2 more is only uh, $4,000. Um, you know, that's going to pay for, you know, maybe one of these conferences. I, like, I would predict it would be upwards of $8 per student. Uh, to be able to report all these conferences, and that's a conservative estimate. And so, I'm wondering, I guess my question is, A, do you propose doing this by increasing SAC fees by $8, or B, what services are you going to cut? Uh, the first part of your question was about the, uh, sorry, I forget what was the first part of your question. It's really expensive to go to these conferences. <laughs> right, okay. Uh, the conference in Halifax, um, I believe, once you, uh, you asked that question in council, if I'm not mistaken. Is that similar? Yeah. Okay. Um, the, the answer to that question was that uh, that, com that uh, meeting in Halifax was a lot more expensive than usually meetings are uh, because of the, you know, just the timing of things and anticipated election, etc. Uh, they had to house people in uh, hotels, which obviously isn't ideal. Usually they try to do it in universities. Um, as far as the, uh, the cost uh, going up to $8, the estimate that uh, we were actually given in council the other day of $4,451 is higher than uh, can be expected. Uh, I was just recently informed by this, uh, informed by Alex of this a couple minutes ago, and I forgot to change that number when I gave my speech because I just read it off the paper. Um, but uh, it would actually probably be a little bit less, so you know, we have some, there's some stuff to play with there. So. Uh, it, it, I wouldn't say eight dollars is a little bit excessive. It might be, uh, I would say, a lot closer to two. Um, as far as uh, the, it being too expensive, I just like to reiterate that uh, the benefits that Mount Allison can gain from this are extremely uh, invaluable. All right. Um, so I guess I guess one of the things that that, that really makes clear is that the the pay structure uh, for uh, for Casa how much. We would how much money we would need to pump into this um, can't be predicted from year to year. Um, it's uh, it changes it changes on the on our ability to raise funds. Um, so, for example, if uh, if the pub ever becomes profitable, you know, I realize that that's a little unrealistic. Um, the amount that we would have to pay would go up. Um, the other thing that we need to not bank on is um, is trips being affordable. Like the fact that the Halifax trip did cost us so much means that we should be expecting for all trips to cost us that much, even if they say it probably won't. Okay. okay. Um, I, I don't believe this pub is owned by the SAC, so uh, at the moment, so we I don't think that that an increase in profits of the pub would actually affect our uh, revenues or payments to CASA at all. Uh, with regards to uh, the the cost of trips. Um, this is a this is an anomaly. I mean, over an average of a couple of years, uh, we can expect it to be a lot less. Uh, budgeting for every trip to be this much uh, would be uh, probably smart, but not at all necessary. I mean, in any by any means. Can I just clarify something, even if there's no response to it. Yeah. I was just I was going to say it's at least double this much. I think Alex clarification is he went to the conference. Is, yeah, I'll just say I went to the conference so I can explain maybe the cost so people understand it. Uh, the costs are a hotel room. Doesn't matter if you have one or two more people in that hotel room. It's the same cost. Did you sleep your hotel room? No, I was in the room on my own. That's the aspect that Casa actually paid for us to do, but. If we were members and we wanted two people at these conferences, and you don't have to have two people there. There's only one person who votes. Uh, so the cost was uh, the hotel room, which wouldn't change with two people. Uh, the transportation, in this case, uh, we needed to rent a car because of the timing of the conference. And we were, at that time, we thought we were paying for the hotel ourselves.